Hello, 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 it's a boy dude reviews with another movie review, it's Mary Poppins, bless me soul, it's Mary Poppins, a 1964 American musical fantasy film directed by Robert Stevenson and produced by Walt Disney with songs written and composed by the Sherman Brothers, the screenplay is by Bill Walsh and Don Dagrodi based on P.L. Travers' book series Mary Poppins. The film which combines live action and animation stars Julie Andrews in her feature debut as Mary Poppins. <laughs> Who, uh, what's the film about? Well, Mr. Banks is looking for a nanny for his two mischievous children and comes across Mary Poppins. Poppins, an angelic nanny, she not only brings a change in their lives, but also spreads happiness. Dick Van Dyke, David Tolomason and Glenn Jonas are featured in supporting roles and the film was shot entirely at the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California using painted London background scenes. Mary Poppins was released on August 27, 1964 to critical acclaim. It received a total of 13 Academy Award nominations including Best Picture, a record for any film released by Walt Disney Studios and won 5 including Best Actress for Julie Andrews, Best Film Editing, Best Original Musical Score, Best Visual Effects and Best Original Song for Chim Chinini Chiri. And in 2013, the film was selected for preservation in the U.S. National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally, historically significant. And is considered Walt Disney's crowning life action achievement and it is the only one of his films which earned the Best Picture nomination during his lifetime. And a sequel, which I will get to shortly, was released decades later. So what's my history on Mary Poppins? Well Mary Poppins for me was a childhood favourite when I was a little dude. I had it on VHS, I burned, I, I feel like I nearly destroyed that tape the amount of times I've watched it. But I never watched it as much as I thought I should have, you know. Because I always found certain sequences to be kind of long and boring, you know. I didn't really like um, Step in Time. I thought that song was too long and I always would just try and fast forward it. I always found the bank scene with Mr. Bank Dude going to the bank and just banking around was just too banking and annoying for me as a little dude. And to a certain point of view and to a certain degree, I didn't like when they went into the animated world and she sung super colorful. She said, blah, 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 blah. I always found this film to be really long and drawn out, but watching it as an adult and the older I get, the more I start to love Mary Poppins and just how much it's just wonderful, you know. A simple film with no real villain, but just. I feel like the villain of the story is just kind of like. This dysfunctional family, like just this lost family in a way. You could also consider the bank to be a villain, but it's not really evil. It's just doing its own banking thing, to be honest with you. Um, what makes this film really remarkable is Judy Andrews' performance as Mary Poppins. She really, really brings to life this character you know um she's fun she's quirky she's serious and stern but she's also very sarcastic at times which i've noticed you know like how she would say something and then it'd be like wait what and then she's so serious about it and just certain things she would say I, it just leaves me laughing sometimes and Julie Andrews was beautiful in this role, like absolutely fantastic, phenomenal actress she was. Um, all the other characters were great. Dick Van Dyke as um, Dick Van Dyke, um, his character Bert. Um, he does a really weird British accent, but I feel like it adds to the flair of this movie. Even as a kid, I knew that this guy wasn't British because I never ever saw a person talk like this before, no? <laughs> And it just sounded really weird, just the way he would talk. And I was like, this has to be an American or Australian guy, one or the other. But I knew he was American. Even the name Dick Van Dyke sounded American to me. So I was like, yeah, this dude is definitely American. But I like his Cockney accent, you know. I think it 
adds to the weird and wackiness of this world to be honest with you and i just love his character he's he's not so serious he's kind of i like how his character and mr banks's character are kind of the polar opposites um looking at him and mr banks they're not rough they're roughly near the same age i think bert is like gotta be like seven years younger than mr banks but they are roughly in the same age like round about the same age but i love how bert is such a different character to mr banks you know how he's a he's he's poor he's not that rich you know he i love how he has different jobs and he just works whatever he wants to do and he's just very happy and content in a way and then mr banks is just this rich business banker and he's stern and just uh, stiff and he just needs he needs to he needs a chill pill this dude he needs a chill pill get this dude a chill pill um i also love the little bank kids and um, that was karen dotris and matthew garber as jane and michael banks who just those two are just these just they're very dated just looking at them they, they they're it's just when i saw this film as a kid and i saw the kids you know because as a kid you relate to the children i was like wow this movie is old just by looking at them i was just like yeah this is a dated film um from the hairstyle to the clothes i was but i i still love these characters they had this innocence about them and the reason why they like this is because their dad doesn't really give that much attention Heck, their mother doesn't either. She's too busy trying to, you know, give women rights, you know, to vote. And and she has a whole song and dance about that. And I love the songs in this film. Like, every song actually helps move the story along. And it works. And it's just all really great. Um, I don't know which is my favourite song. But one song I noticed growing up that i appreciated a lot more was step in time i thought the choreography for the entire sequence was so amazing it just went on and these guys were just going and going and it didn't end it just kept going my dudes and do that i also really like the bank song i'm not too sure what it's called um i just call it the bank song when the kids and their dad mr banks go to the bank and then they meet the bank men and then they sing a song called toughens and i don't know i like that song like the way their position and the way that they're sentient i just i just like their like body language you know how stiff and like uptight they are in a way and i don't know i, I really like that song sequence for some odd reason and just the way it was set up and dick van dyke as the old dude was <laughs> very surprising to be honest with you i <laughs> I really wasn't really expecting him to, I didn't even realise he was Mr. Doyle's, the old director, I did not recognise him at all, I was stunned to find out it was him, but wow, he did a damn good job, damn good job, I, I just love all the sequences and the songs, but I always like the story, you know, just this woman trying to like bring this family together, and she does it with her own little special way and i really do like it um really really great film um i noticed okay it's more to mixed aspects in my terms of mixed aspects i noticed that the the visual look of this film is very dark at times as a kid i kind of was okay with it because it was a vhs but watching it even on blu-ray i noticed it still looks pretty dark like the picture has this very dark it has like a very dark tint over it it's not as colorful as, as vibrant as i remembered it has a more grounded realism to it which works and it makes it it has this offness to it it almost feels a little bit what's the word i'm looking for it has this ominous presence to it like this eerie presence that always rubs me the wrong way at times but at the same time i kind of like that feel it, it, it's mysterious you know um i don't have nothing negative to say about this film this film was a classic i love everything about this film i love the sequence and just oh 
just the way it's resolved at the end is so satisfying, my dudes and dudes. I give this film a 9.5 out of 10. I only give it an A+. I won't give it a 10 out of 10 because it's still a fantastic film, but it's not one I would come back to watching over and over and over again. I mean, you know me. I like I like my animated musical films a bit more than my live action, so I'm a bit, little bit more biased towards that, my dudes and dudettes. But thank you for watching this review. Please like and share this video. Comment down below and tell me, what did you like about Mary Poppins? With that said, thank you for watching. As always, I've bored you the view, signing out.